This is Cameron Chai from azom.com and I'm bringing you another episode of azom.com TV and today we're speaking to John Sheen from Thermo Fisher Scientific who's going to run uh, some mining sample for us. Thanks Cameron. What we're going to do today is take a look at the Thermo Scientific Niton XL3T with Gold Plus technology to analyze a, uh, a rock similar to uh, uh, an outcrop measurement that somebody might take during an exploration project uh, looking for gold. To take the measurement, it's as easy as putting the instrument directly on the sample, adjusting the screen to a comfortable viewing angle, squeezing and holding the trigger, and letting Testall Geo do its stuff. Now, Testall Geo automatically applies the correct measurement algorithm for elements both at low concentrations as well as elements at high concentrations. The benefit of this is that in the past, users used to have to take two measurements, combining those results offline. With Testall Geo that was introduced over the summer, they can now run that same measurement, that, that uh, same sample, in a single measurement. So here we can see that we were measuring on a clear white part of this sample and we were measuring, we saw about 11 parts per million gold, about 63 parts per million copper, um, about 1.6% potassium. Let's go ahead and use the camera now to position the sample, um, posi position the instrument on one of these veins in the sample. So I'm going to put the sample back down on the ground put the instrument on the sample so that we can clearly see those veins present in the uh, in the display screen squeeze and hold the trigger and in this case we're seeing um, higher levels of, uh, of gold the chemistry does change and it becomes a little bit more interesting so by using the camera on the uh, on the analyzer to help identify inclusions within uh, within rocks, within outcroppings, within ore bodies, it can help a geologist to better understand what's going on in their samples and help to identify samples that are most appropriate to send back to the lab for JORC compliant analysis. So here our measurement climbs to about 96% gold and copper's up at about uh, 290 parts per million. All right, John, and what other features does this have that are of interest to the mining industry? Well, not only does this have the only 50 kilovolt x-ray tube in a handheld XRF analyzer, which gives us the greatest versatility for the broadest range of elements, both on the low end being able to analyze magnesium, aluminum, silicon, as well as sulfur and phosphorus, but also the heavier elements where we can get the most efficient excitation for the heavier elements that might be of interest to the geologist. Additionally, we have a, with built-in Bluetooth uh, capabilities on the analyzer, users can interface these to mobile uh, Trimble GPS devices running GIS software packages and spatially map out concent elemental concentrations on the mobile GIS application in real time while they're in the field, helping them to understand where to make infill measurements or to step out measurements so that they can better profile the areas around a site where, uh, where they find they're geochemically interesting. So really good for people doing mining exploration and things like that. That's correct. Mining exploration as well as for environmental applications, right? They're both looking for elements in the soil and they're both looking for areas where they're going to try and take those elements out of the soil. In one case for the economic value and in another case for the, the ecological benefit of removing contaminants from a, uh, an occupied uh, area. All right, John, and if anybody wants more information on your analyzers, where can they go? They can either go to azom.com or to thermoscientific.com forward slash Niton. All right, John, thanks very much for that demonstration. All right, thanks, Cameron.